Hey everybody, today I'm here to do a tag video. I was tagged by Mary of Glitzy and Fritzy and I will leave her channel linked below. You really ought to go take a look at her if you haven't been following her. She's hilarious and she puts out some great videos. So take a look at her channel. So her tag was the grade school tag and you can do either you can do funny things that happen to you through the years one through six or you can do you know anything memorable that happened between the grades one through six starting with um i guess no k through six would be <laughs> better since most of us did start in kindergarten although maybe mary jumped right to first grade i don't know she's very smart anyway folks so for me Kindergarten. Kindergarten's teacher will remain nameless, and you'll understand why later in the story. Anyway, my kindergarten experience was not a very good one. The teacher was a lot to be desired. Let's just put it that way. And the most memorable thing that happened for me in kindergarten was we were doing workbook and I really felt like I was gonna be sick. I get this little tingly feeling in my cheeks when I'm gonna throw up. And so I'm lucky I have a warning system so that no one else has to watch me throw up. So I raised my hand and she kept saying, not now, Teresa, not now, Teresa, we're doing workbook. And then when Teresa threw up all over her workbook, she got yelled at and was told, why didn't you tell me sooner? <laughs> I'm like, listen, teach. Yeah, I wish I just cried, you know, and here I was embarrassed in front of the entire class. But, you know, my embarrassment was nothing compared to, you know, the time she put poor little Vincent up in front of the class to show them what happens when you don't get to the bathroom on time. Yeah, she pointed out that he wet his pants to the whole class. Five years old, people. Five years old. <laughs> so first grade, Mrs. Harrington. I, I guess first grade would be my first grade crush, my very first crush ever. And I had a crush on AJ. And I was so crushing on AJ that uh, when a, a friend of mine brought in her sister's class ring, I decided that I would ask if I could borrow it. Well, she said, sure, you know, first graders, <laughs> they're gonna say, of course you can. So I went home with this class ring and informed my mother that AJ had given me this ring and that we were going to be married. <laughs> well, of course my mother, you know, she's like, <laughs> you know, you're gonna bring that back to school tomorrow. So fast forward to, I decided to bring it with me to my grandmother's house and my cousin was visiting from Massachusetts and we decided to play this game where we would bury the ring and then find the ring. Like I would bury it, she would find it, she would bury it and I would find it. And as you can guess, probably, <laughs> it got buried once and nobody found it. And I don't know if it ever made its way to its rightful owner but that was terrible because I can remember having to tell Laura that I lost her sister's ring. Very bad. So second grade, Mrs. Capolino. Yes, yes, Mrs. Capolino. Loved Mrs. Capolino. And for second grade, I started to um, jump ahead of the game and started with my cursive writing. And for anybody watching that's younger, cursive writing, that's when you write with a pen and paper, you know, no typing, no swiping, no texting. Okay, yeah, anyway. So I was practicing my cursive writing and um, she came over and she said to me, oh no, no, you don't learn cursive writing until the third grade. You need to be paying attention to second grade and you know, I was a little deflated by that whole thing. And um, I remember that year she sent home a note to my mother and it said, a little less talking and a little more work 
and Teresa would be a great student. Hmm, who would have known I like to talk? Third grade, by far my favorite female teacher, Mrs. Cunningham, and she wasn't just my favorite teacher, she was everybody's favorite teacher. She was amazing, and she was really what a teacher ought to be, what a teacher should hope to be. Well, third grade was um, a lot of fun. I did a couple of things. I came in second place for my multiplication table. And the most memorable thing from third grade was that here I was, you know, kindergarten first and second, the girl who never got a birthday party. Before it was PC to have a summer birthday party for everybody that had their birthdays in the summer, the summer kids just didn't get to have a birthday party at school. So I thought I would announce to the teacher that the next day was my birthday. And she said, oh my goodness, it's mine too. And I went into school the next day and there was cake and there was candy and there was a party. And I was so excited because this was the best party I had in my short life so far. And I was just ecstatic. And then I had a goodie bag to bring home and my mother asked me what that was from. And I told her that it was from my birthday party. And she said, it's not your birthday. And I said, I know. With that look, you know, that little kid look. So my mother, in her infinite wisdom, the next time I saw Mrs. Cunningham, was at a grocery store and she made me tell her the truth right there at the grocery store i was crying so much and she completely understood mrs cunningham was amazing she said you know she she realized it wasn't really my birthday because obviously she had access to my birth date uh so it wasn't such a big deal so that was my most memorable part of third grade fourth grade well, wouldn't you know the worst teacher in the world, and if you ask anybody that was in her classes, they will agree, um, decided to teach fourth grade. That's right. The teacher who let me puke all over my desk was now my fourth grade teacher. And by fourth grade, I had gained quite a bit of weight. And fourth grade in the 70s, um, Everybody was wearing, you know, halter tops and, you know, all the cool bell-bottom pants, you know. And so this teacher decided that she would come up to me in my halter top and grab a hold of one of my rolls of fat and announce to the class that this is what happens when you eat too much. And she jiggled it and, you know, the whole class laughed. And I'd like to say that that was the worst thing that she ever did in that class. But there were people in my class that had things happen worse than that. And we'll just skip on to the fifth grade. Fifth grade, Mr. Dewey. Oh gosh, my first male teacher. He was very tall and very handsome and uh, I really liked him. And a number of things happened in the fifth grade, but probably my most memorable thing that happened in the fifth grade was I fell on my platform shoes. Yes, I tumbled right off of them in the girls' room and I hurt my knee and I was just in tears and nobody came to help me. And there was a substitute that day and the substitute came and carried me down to the nurse's office. You know, I had to go and have an x-ray and the whole nine yards. And then I came back to learn that <laughs> the teacher got back to the classroom and announced how heavy I was. Again, you know, bullying. <laughs> I think if there was social media when I was a kid, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now, for sure. Anyway, sixth grade. Hmm, sixth grade. Another male teacher, Mr. Barato. <sighs> I had such a crush on Mr. Barato. He had this beautiful white hair and he was so, so sweet. And sixth grade was a tough time for me. I lost an aunt that was close in age to me. She lived with us. She was like a sister to me. And he was amazing through it all. As we were doing a play 
and it involved a gun that shot blanks and the gun was left on the teacher's desk and he left the room and everybody you know taunted me to shoot the gun and so I shot the gun and I had it too, way too close to my head and uh, yeah so I couldn't hear a thing ringing in my ears like you wouldn't believe and then he came rushing back in and of course the, the whole floor came running in and uh, you know it was like who shot that gun and of course they gave me up but uh, it was funny afterwards you know it was just it was, a, it was a fun time, but I sure did love Mr. Barato. He's still quite handsome, actually. The last time I saw him, anyway, he was still quite handsome. So I hope you got to know a little bit about my childhood. Very little bit, but a little glimpse at what I had fun with and what I had to deal with. And I'm so glad that Mary put that tag out to whoever wanted to do it because I heard it and I just wanted to jump on board. And I would really be happy if you all would do this tag. And I might put some names down below in the description bar to tag you personally. Um, but if you wanna do this tag, please go right ahead and you can call it your grade school tag or you can call it the Fritzy grade school tag or you can call it the how the heck did I make it into adulthood tag, you know, whatever, whatever suits you. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for sticking around and we'll see you soon. Bye now.